What's up, y'all? First of all, I'm not like 100% quitting. <laughs> but I mean, I'm not like addicted to it. And maybe you can say that it's not like real quitting or anything like that, right? But I think the the problem when you when you do something and you addicted to it is like it's when when that that thing like control your life and it has a significant impact in your well being and stuff. So, like for example, like smoke one cigarette in one year is not gonna like ruin anything in your life. You know, like literally. You walk on the street every day. That's kind of like grew in your life more because of the pollution from the the car combustion. So that's my point. But but why smoking? Why not other addiction? Why I I wanna speak about smoking instead of alcohol or like pornography? That's that's most uh men these day gonna gonna addict to you like. I think there's three of them, right? Smoking, alcohol, and 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 pornography. So, after before I, uh, learn about Christianity, I also also wanna quit all that three thing, <coughs> three things, and I think that that uh, I wanna quit one thing and keep two other, or I wanna quit two thing and like keep one other and. And I thought about it as many things like you know smoking is cool, alcohol is like socialized, and and pornography is like how how you kind of like control your your lust and stuff. So, so speaking in terms of like you wanna quit by not using religion, as I mentioned in the title, it's kind of like not a very good way because I'm struggle quitting all these three because of. Of science, you know, because of the media, and and it's just tell the lie to you that that yeah probably it's not that bad, and and so you don't want to quit it, like generally speaking. But also three, these three addiction is also different from from each other, like for example, uh, when you drink. Nobody is kind of like have a headed towards it, you know, like, I mean, you normally go to the party and drinking and in front of everybody and it's fine. Or even you go to a a lunch and you know drink some kind of like champagne or wine in lunch and that's also fine. Like there's no hatred towards drinking in general, and also like for the prawn, so you're not doing in general. And it's kind of like you're doing in a in a private because when you watch porn, you're gonna do masturbation too. But like I mean, you're gonna do it in your own time, your private time, and no one see it, and that's why you can't do it. You know what I mean? Like no one judging you in that area. But for smoking, yeah, of course, uh, you can pretty much smoke everywhere. But but there's hatred towards smoking. So for example, if there's people around. Uh, you should you kind of like feel awkward to sh- smoke if they're not a smoker, right? And also like, you cannot smoke in the building, of course. Like if it's a public building, but you can still like drinking in the building or even like masturbation in the building, if like you go to the restroom, you know what I mean. But I mean, if you think that okay, you can smoke, but you have to go to the certain place. I mean, the certain place is like it's also the hatred place because it's not a restroom. It's like. A smoking area, which is like, people are gonna know that what you're doing, and they're gonna hate it, like put some hate toward it. But when I say hate, it's not like, I mean that that people like hate you or anything like that. But it's it's mean like, that is, yeah, they do something bad, like unhealthy or anything like that. But yeah, so so smoking is very very like different from other two, and. And maybe that's that is can relate to how Christianity, in my opinion, in my idea, in my concept, can help me quitting smoking, because like, you know, as a smoker, you kind of like probably you're not a bad person, but you also care about other people, right? 
So that you're not gonna smoke like everywhere and if people around you're not gonna smoke that. At least like in my perspective, in my uh agenda identity that I'm not gonna like make other people like feel uncomfortable but maybe some people don't care and smoke everywhere anyway and they're gonna like get uh security guard get their away and, and stuff but I mean that's that's another point but like my point is so if you're a smoker you care about other and you know that other don't like it so that they have a specific place for you to do it and if you say it's like I will also have a specific place like bar and stuff and that's why I mean like I already told you that that you can even drink in a football game you know but you cannot smoke in a football game like kind of like in general because people are gonna like hate towards it but but yeah so so because you care about people and in my my uh, own experience I care about my parents too like when I used to smoke I'm gonna just smoke uh, in the place that that my parents not gonna know or like see or like smell it so for example like if I'm gonna go to see my parents like this afternoon in the morning I'm not gonna smoke I'm not gonna like have the the smell and when I, after I met my parents and I come back to my my apartment I'm gonna just smoke like at that time which is like it's kind of like you can think that it's not addicted because you can control it but actually you addicted to it anyway because you want to come back and smoke right so yeah that's that's what I did and and I kind of like feel free to to smoke like at the workplace or or when I go hang out with my friends and stuff but if I know that my like when I'm, I'm smoking and my parents gonna see or smell it I'm not gonna do it so it's kind of like care towards them and I don't want them to to feel bad I don't want them to to disappoint it or like yeah, they're not gonna hate me but they're gonna feel bad and and want me to quit and and like because they love me right and I love them and that's the idea you know guys and Christianity you have God as your father you have the son as your brother Jesus Christ right and and when you developing the relationship towards him, like I have a strong relationship towards my parents, but after I get into a, a Christianity, so that's the whole idea of Christianity too, because you have Jesus, so you enough. So even your parents is bad, even your friend is bad, even your girlfriend's wife is bad, but you still have Jesus. So, so that's why most Christianity want to uh, put... Jesus at the above pedestal, like the the highest level, like just one priority, just Jesus. So, so when you put Jesus in one priority, every other thing that happened in your life is gonna it's gonna be like less concern of your heart and your emotion and and all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of like help you in in terms of you know, uh, mental health and also it's spirit it's spiritual and it's good for you and. And I'm speaking in, in terms of like I learned a lot of religions and and I believe in in science too and I came here in America and I learned about Christianity and I think it's good and it's word spread the word of God and yeah. So so when people praying and when Christian praying and, and have a relationship with with the Lord Jesus as a father, so they love him and and he love in he knows that they know that he loves me i mean i i would, i should say us because i also a christian so we love him and we know that he loves us so it's kind of like compared to my love toward my parents you know and i don't want to do it in front of them but with god you know god is the infinite intelligence he's everywhere he's with you all the time he knows you since your birth and till your death and he ha has a whole plan for you so he see you all the time and in christianity you're gonna hear the the face like you are in the eye of god and also side side story i also got a tattoo which is an eye and this is kami and it's it's mean god 
but the whole the whole uh, idea of tattoo is is not only Christianity, but like you get my point. This is the eye, and and my point is like he see you, he look at you, he he knows what you're doing all the time, and and the eye is just in in a tattoo in my body. It just remind me that yeah he he sees you. He's not like my parents that he that she, that they didn't see me when I'm smoking. But now if I'm smoke, he sees you and. And it's not like, like you're not gonna do bad thing because of, uh, your parent is around. But it's like because you have a because like somebody watching it, you know, like 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 when you're smoking, in some place and and with other people, and you don't want them to think that you're a bad person and you smoke, and they're gonna think that you're bad and like playboy or like anything like that, you know, that you're not a high quality man. It's not like that, like. For for God to see you, God is like like your parents, like they love you, and you don't want them to know is because you also love them, not not just like a random stranger that you try to impress, but it's like your family, is your father, your mother, like the one that you love, so so I think that's that's very like powerful, like maybe this idea is cannot like apply to. Other thing, and I think that's also the the good part of me doing these videos too. Because yeah, maybe you're gonna heard all this improvement, quitting smoking kind of stuff from other people, but they don't have the same story as me and the way I talk, talk and and the way I think about the specific habit that that you can stop. Or like can think of maybe the idea is just a little bit different as I mentioned earlier about prawn, or like the 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 alcohol. You cannot like apply this concept in that area, but maybe you can like you you know that you're not gonna do prawn, watch prawn, or like you know master there because you're you are in the eye of God and God see it and and but maybe your parents also see you watch prawn and and they don't like gonna gonna hate you or like. What you do stop? They gonna it's just like awkward moment, you know, like like in the movie American Pie that that you 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 kind of like doing your own thing and your parents kind of like come in and like you boom awkward. They're not gonna hate you. They're not gonna think that you're bad or anything. It's just like awkward, you know. And also the, like the same apply to drinking. Like maybe you can drink and your parents also drink because the doctor told you that drinking is is good. And I think that's kind of. That's kind of okay. I I used to believe that too, that drinking is good, in for for your health. You know your cardio, vascular, <laughs> like your heart. I mean, and yeah. I mean, be because you drink alcohol and your heart beat faster, and maybe it's exercise your heart and your heart's gonna be like healthy as doctor says. But is it really? You really believe that that drinking is. Better drinking is good for your heart. <laughs> I mean, that's gonna be the whole another videos. But here is like the idea of of Christianity and love and and God as a father can can see you and love you and and you love them and you wanna do good for them, not for your own sake, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's also another point. Not for your own sake, but for them, because you love them, you don't, don't them, don't want them to to see like, like that you smoking, you know, like, like I used to think that yeah, smoking is bad, and and we should, I should, like as before before Christianity as a self improvement kind of guru stuff, yeah, and it's gonna it's not healthy, and and it's gonna make your mouth. Smell bad, and you're not gonna attract girls. If you wanna look good and and be a better person, yeah, you you should not smoke. But because of that idea, that's another. You you know you may maybe you're gonna see is like like Tommy Shelby, you know, like in the Peaky Blinders series or any other like cool character. They also smoke. Sanji, yeah, this is not a One Piece wisdom, but Sanji also smoke, and he's so cool. And like maybe yeah, all that is like a fiction, but fiction is also come from real life, right? Godfather and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, of course, he's gonna have. They're gonna have like a little bit of bad smell, but they cool. <laughs> you know, they like 
they're the mafia, they're the, the pirates, they're like the gangster that like, you know, control all the, all the city and world and stuff. But yeah, so when you, you compare that, like, hey, you want to sell improvement so that you live longer and your, your breath is not going to sting and like stuff like that. Compared to like mafia kind of idea, and it's like <laughs> just come back to smoke, and, and you know what I mean, right? So I mean, I've struggled a lot and, and try to improve myself in in many areas, and come back do bad thing, and also kind of like still try to improve myself. So I hope this video can help the people that that wanna quit, and and as I mentioned at the very beginning of the videos, like. Addiction is not like if you smoke one cigarette like after two years of non-smoking and it's gonna like ruin and you're gonna be a bad person or stuff or like you're gonna quit smoking the entire life so that it's success, it's not addicted. It's, it's really not like that. If I smoke one cigarette every year until I die, is that addiction? And I mean one cigarette every year. And even like... You know, it's it's not stop right, but it's one cigarette every year, not every that yeah like every year it's kind of like makes sense if you kind of like every month is still like addiction, but like every year, and and it's just because you wanna do it as a you know photo shoot, in your like after you trained your body, the whole year, the whole fucking five year, and you have like very sick body. And you can kind of like go to photo shoot like as a gangster, you know, wearing a leather jacket and on a cool bicycle and smoke with like, you know, six pack that you build for five years without smoking. But you just smoke that one or two cigarette when you photo shoot because you can't smoke and it's cool. <laughs> and that photo is going to go viral everywhere and like, and it's going to be cool. <laughs> but it's it's bad that maybe it's gonna influence some people that that think that smoking is is fine and he's this guy you know he smoked and he has this six pack but you never know like the backstory of it you know that that I'm like dedicate five years of training until I can like just do photo shoot of me smoking on the bike <laughs> like cool to like post in Instagram and stuff but. Yeah, I mean, that's for today, bro. See you next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.